Oh, what? Yours are so oh. much better than mine. You Those got are poodle? so much better than mine. You got Andrew's? Kyle okay. Lowry. Okay, for you the viewers Jakob out there. Poodle. Yeah, for sorry, the, just go, go. For the viewers out there, <laughs> oh Andrew opened his drop before we started recording, and I think his highest <laughs> average card was twelve, and 12, everybody else 12. was under ten, including a zero. <laughs> yeah so i was expecting nothing and the, oh my and then god this happens holy cow who we got a pick for this we got sadiq bay oh, i we like got kyle lowry i like we got kelly Oubre. kelly we got a beast Poodle, too. and we got isaiah stewart i have they're all about card. 30 averages that's insane that's, kelly Oubre, cow. that's my boy that's my charlotte boy right but sadiq bay man I mean, he's the lowest average but at this scoring range, you might want to go for a lower average. I don't know. Who did you pay really... off at so rare? Yeah, right? Dude, hey, I have my sources, man. Oh, my God. That's amazing. I have my people. God, All who right. do you... Who... So, Andrew, are we going to pick? Think? Oh, yeah, we get to pick. We get to pick. Okay. Um, I personally have a limited Sadiq Bay. He's been very good, very good to me. Um, I do like your boy, Kelly, from Charlotte. Uh, we also could go with Russian U. Uh, yeah. J- 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 he's, not, he's not Russian. He's, he's Russian Austrian. He, he's Austrian? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, all right. There we go. <laughs> a, a sorry, Jakub. 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 Yeah, it's like German. Yeah. All right. Jacob, for me, I'm narrowing it down to those three. Unless you really feel differently, but I think you should pick from those three. Poodle's a center, man. Centers get blocks. Blocks are three points. Ooh. Rebounds, too. But uh, I got to go with my boy, Kelly Oubre. I can't yeah. not say the Hornets. Yeah. I'm happy with it. that, man. All right. So, like that so um, really cool tool. If you have not explored it already, uh, it's within SO5, and you go under Game Week Center. Um, it's defaulted to football, but here we're, we're talking basketball. Uh, when you do so, uh, I think it defaults to my games of players I have right now. Um, but most importantly, I think is the projections tab. Um, the one, the first thing you'll notice is it back, defaults baby. you to the current game week. So I always recommend looking a game week ahead because you know if you're going to do a swap, you should probably swap somebody that can help you for the next game week because having a rock star you can't use isn't that helpful. Um, so there are kind of two two strategies, and I'm, I'm curious to get both of your thoughts on these. Um, the first one is, you know, get you generally probably have in your common gallery a um, very highly averaged player that may be hurt or maybe just un, just really overperformed. Like Jacob, I'm thinking back to like your your Lori Markinen, um, where his you know, uh, L10 average just went really, really high. Um, but we, we, we know he's probably not a 40 average player. So do you, so the way I I've seen the swap work is it will give you, uh, cards that are similarly averaged to that player. Um, so for example, if, if, if you believe that Lauren Markinen is not a 40 average player, you could cash in on him with his really high average. And then go for someone like Joel Embiid, who has, you know, more staying power likely at that at that upper threshold. So it's like you you ride up the guy's uh, L10 and then cash in on um, and get somebody who is probably more equal to that floor than what your your guy's currently scoring as. Um, that's kind of like part one of of what I was thinking of, you know, going for that. Um, kind of high L10, but, but isn't a good score. Um, and then that way you can, you can upgrade your team over time. I, I, the only thing I would say about isn't a good score is like, you are projecting that he's not a 40 point player. Like you never know. He could be the next sure. someone. Sure. He could be the next KD. He could be the next Giannis. Obviously that chance is not super high, but I wouldn't necessarily say he's a, lower scoring player it's like it's more like we'll see what happens maybe he's just on a hot streak i don't know but anyways continue yeah so it's like it's like riding the guy on the hot streak and mm-hmm. um you know the the thing the thing i'd say in response to that is you know 
sure you could you know marketing could continue as his run but we we know that Joel Embiid just is that quality player and will score that um not for a fact so we, we you never know uh you know guys guys can go through some bad periods even even great players um but that's kind of part one the other part and I'll, I'll highlight this tool because I, I use it a lot um there are two kind of ways I, I think you can find valuable guys the first is this ratio which they take the projected points <gasps> and big then divide fan, it fan of Kuminga divide it by their L10 George uh so we can see for example Kuminga is the highest the most optimal player for this coming game week um to be honest this ratio is not that high. If we go back to the current game week, we can see um, some other people have uh, ratios of four. Wow. So almost yeah. a, a double. So, you know, this, there's really no one. Um, so if we go back to the current game week, there's really no one that is staring as like a screamer value play for the weekend, likely because the guys that are going to be valuable for the weekend, we don't even know because it's probably a result of somebody getting injured tonight or tomorrow. And then their team is at a pinch over the weekend. And all of a sudden Kaminga gets a ton more minutes because, you know, Jordan Poole is out hurt for whatever right. reason. Um, so for, so the, the kind of idea is, so let's say for example, Kaminga was projected 30 points, but his average is five. Um, what I would do is I would go through my gallery and target him by finding a uh, five average player or as close to five as I could get. I don't actually think I have a five average common. Oh, you're just um, so good at common. Oh, yeah, apparently. there he is. Well, I got a, a seven. Um, still Pretty not close. as perfect, but so yeah, let's let's try it out. So let's let's go let's go in on uh, Gorgui. Uh, we'll use our <laughs> so our sw free swap. Oh. I, oh, here, wait, oh no, here, wait, wait, I, sorry. We got, oh, we got a Isaiah fiver. Mobley. We got, we got, go. we got a fiver. Okay, so yeah, we're going to okay. trade him in. We trade him in. Let's see. Okay, oh, interesting. Oh my gosh. Wow. Interesting. Johnny Davis. We got Wesley so, Matthews. So you got a 14 average. So that's, right. you traded in a five and got a 14. So I don't know what like the range of you could get, but that's, that's a nine point. So difference. this, yeah, this, this, yeah, this is interesting. What Andy, yeah. Or not confirms, but Lee right. furthers my suspicion of what Andrew yep. and I were talking about earlier yep. today. I, I was, I don't remember where, but I believe I read somewhere that the swap is based on value of the card, not mm. average. 